Well, that answers a lot of questions, doesn't it? But ironically, it actually kind of does. <laughs> so, um, many of you who saw the latest Fable trailer may have noticed that the company elected to make their lead female character, shall we say, not conventionally attractive? <laughs> And I, well, I, I raised the question at the time. I do generally wonder how long and involved the process is, is to create such a stu studiously repulsive character. Because, well, it is actually genuinely a question, isn't it? Because when you start out with a, with a brand new face mesh, you know, all you've got is a, a face a human face, recognizably human, with flat mesh textures. That's it, there's no details. They're simply just a smooth form. And then you need to start to get this, adding defects. <laughs> you will need to make the teeth slightly different lengths. You will need to make the very broad and manly jaw. <laughs> I, you will have, <laughs> have to add in the enormous bushy eyebrows, the retarded look. Like, good God, this genuinely, unironically, requires more work than making a beautiful character, and the reason for that appears now to have emerged. Now, bear you in mind, this is good old-fashioned uh, 4chan research here, so it's hardly confirmed, but it does seem to have the details. As the person who looks a uh, not like the Fable main character, is of course a non-binary, trans femme, they, them, uh, secretly a deer. Why not? Who works at Playground Games. Now, bear you in mind, what it says right here is of course as a level designer. So normally you wouldn't use a level designer as the, like, the key concept of your main character, but who knows? Connections, maybe? Uh, preferences? God knows. Maybe the company thought they'd score some points by having their diversity hire model for their new character. Mm -hmm. It could even just be all made up for all I know. But it does seem, considering the current here, more than a little reasonable, doesn't it? As, um, this is hardly the first time we see this, of course. Now, as for the reason for why this is, so let's let's talk about this a little bit. And it is not just the ideological aspects. Part of it is undoubtedly, like Fat Alloy is absolutely partially ideologically motivated. It is there to actually genuinely demotivate you. Whether or not the people who do this actually understand that that is the purpose is highly questionable, as most of them barely have two brain cells to rub together. But you can see, of course, the stark contrast. So. Fables, a new character, and then let's have a look at the new Prince of Persia, who's incidentally black with dreadlocks now. If you want to know why that's the case, well, I did a video on Afrocentrism the other day, which pretty much gives you the answer. But he has never worn so little clothing in his entire video gaming career, I'm pretty sure. And still, too, traditionally handsome male features. You know, chiseled, determined, strong, like a hawkish nose, fine chin, and so on and so on. Even his hair, like, got a little bit of that anime to the side style, you know? When compared, again, to the abomination, <laughs> it is very clear where the, uh, the focal point lies here. Because, of course, half-naked, hot male characters has always been fine. Unironically, it has literally always been fine. But female characters are now more and more represented as just downright repulsive. And part of the reason for this is, I believe, also this current day search for realism. Now, Starfield's, of course, not out yet, so we don't even know it has this problem. But they announced, as and I'm using this as a bit of a more generalized example, this would be their most diverse character creator ever. And that they use the character creator to generate the various characters in game, where they facially scanned, I don't know how many, um, lots of lots of people, like hundreds, thousands, so as to accurately represent their facial features. Okay, cool, that's actually a genuinely good thing. A powerful character creator is obviously not a bad thing, but this drive for realism I actually genuinely think is. Because, you know, unironically, this is probably what a, um, <laughs> 
<laughs> it literally is what a realistic depiction of this person is. <laughs> I was about to say something there that might have made people a little angry at me, <laughs> specifically one gender. <laughs> but yeah. Ironically, yes. And then when you also put her in the most unflattering lighting and dress and style and execution imaginable, you do indeed get this. Whereas if you do the opposite, you know, you cell shade it a little bit, you add in the good lighting, you give a little bit of an outline, contour, etc., you get this. Duh. You know, it's, it's literally a 3D model. You can make them as attractive as you want. And in fact, to make them realistic looking or even unattractive requires a tremendous amount of effort. Because you start with something that is, well, by definition, perfect. The 3D mesh doesn't have uh, warts, it doesn't have little weird dents in their skins, it doesn't have scars, it doesn't have pimples, it doesn't have a weirdly coloured skin, or giant rosy cheeks, an enormous forehead, etc. It has none of these things. It is literally a putty of clay that you can shape into anything you want. And making it symmetrical, which is of course one of the hallmarks of beauty, well, that's done automatically. In fact, by and large, when people model a face, what they do is they model half of it, and then they have a reference image on the one side. So you're actually taking the reference image and you're dragging out the features of the face onto the reference image. And then when you've made half of it, you simply mirror it to make the opposite part. It's very quick and it creates, of course, perfectly symmetrical faces. But again, when you are then going out of your way to make it well like this, it's a lot more work. So, this is one of the reasons also, by the way, I made the AI porn will destroy humanity video, because is people actually looking for realism? I mean, we are talking about Starfield here in this case, right? Are people looking for realism in their space adventure game? Is, is that what you're looking for? Oh yes, I want to I explore the outer rings of Saturn, but if the people around me aren't all just, you know, mediocre to ugly looking, well, it simply just destroys my immersion. I certainly wouldn't want to go on space hijinks adventures with a hot female sidekick companion. Who would ever wish that? Or a hot male one for the opposite gender. Or occasionally the same one. Obviously. I mean, hell, the entirety of anime, manga, etc. is based on the idea that literally everyone is attractive, except for the villain, who's usually ugly. <laughs> Which is a bit of an obvious correlation there as well, isn't it? Hey. The quest for realism in and of itself is, is not wrong by any stretch of the imagination. A more powerful character creator is obviously not incorrect, but honestly, you could probably get the same effect by just making an anime character creator, frankly, as I would actually love to see a kind of a study on this. Like how many people prefer the realistic, and I mean brutally realistic here, like in people look like they actually regularly do without makeup and five inches of paint and so on, or the anime aesthetic. Of course, some people absolutely loathe anime, obviously, but still. It would be an interesting experiment. And this, well, this is one of the results of the push for quote-unquote realism. As, again, this appears to be an actual representation of a real-life human being, as the vast majority of us, unfortunately, are not supermodels. And as a final note on the idea of realism, think of the, um, the previous major entertainment industry, right? The movies, TV shows, all of that. How many obviously outwards ugly character were there. Like, why uh, Why was Leonardo DiCaprio chosen for Titanic, for example, you know? Why is Tom Cruise cast in everything and so on? Why was Angelina Jolie, or hell, the uh example? Why did Pamela Anderson become famous after being picked out out of the crowd at a baseball match? <laughs> The simple fact is, attractive characters are easy to like. It is, it is literally human psychology. We attribute positive character traits to beautiful people. It is simply just something our little primate brain does. We look at a hot person and we think, oh, he's probably a pretty good guy. He's probably honest and hardworking, and he probably deserves everything that's coming to him. And then we look at a fat, ugly guy and think, oh, he's probably a layabout and a wastrel, even if the other guy is a millionaire and the first guy is a bum. 
because, again, human brain worky that way. And trying desperately to make sure that the human wave doesn't work that way is a hilariously losing battle. But hey, I will say it is to our benefit, so why not? And to be fair, I am presuming, hoping, praying that this will be some sort of inside joke, maybe? Because the Fable candidates have always been demonstrated as being a little bit of a, a tongue-in-cheek representation of the British countryside, shall we say. And that would certainly explain some of the more uh, interesting dental fixtures. <laughs> Nothing else. Maybe. And it'll be a powerful in-game content creator, content creator, a character creator, and most of the characters will look, well, not like this. That's entirely possible. But at the same time, if this is true, well, they've already got an agenda seeping through every level of the game. And when that agenda is at its very most basic layer to demoralize you, Ah, uh, somehow I don't expect the game will be overflowing with interesting, attractive, pretty characters. I hope I'm right. Wrong. English. Actually, you know, I'll go with the first one. I hope I'm right and that everybody else is wrong. No, not everybody else in this case. But we'll see. I mean, a character creator, there's got to be one, undoubtedly, you'd think. Uh, otherwise, I don't know, PR stunt? Doesn't seem like a very effective one in my mind. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's better than a race swap, I suppose. And Starfield, again, we don't know enough about it to really comment on it, but it's I think it's just going to be a Bethesda RPG, really. And I think it'll be entirely serviceable as a Bethesda RPG. But Bethesda also have a long and proud history of making further studiously ugly characters. Like that wonderful sequence in Oblivion where the hot women were supposed to come seduce you. <laughs> Anyone who played that game is going to understand that joke. <laughs> Shield bash. Shield bash repeatedly. <laughs> Until next time, I've been Arch. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon. Have a good day.